Assalamu alaikum. So today our topic is basically balancing equations. Uh, there is a topic that usually comes before this and that is chemical formulas and how do you name chemical compounds? Now that is something we have already done. Uh, we did that. Hold on. Why is this? Yeah. Okay. Sorry. There was an echo. Yeah. So usually there's a topic that comes before it, which is balancing equations which is combined with chemical formulas and names. We have already done chemical formulas and names. I will send a worksheet to you in case you have any, still have any concerns and I'll also share the solution with you. So just to give you a brief overview of that one, how do you name things? You simply first try to see what kind of bonding do they have? So if they have ionic bonding, then the name will be names of cations, then the names of anions and that's it. For example, if you have sodium or chloride ions, hai, so the name will be sodium because this is sodium ion and this is chloride ion. So the second name will be chloride ion. And we usually just name positive ion first and negative ion later. Now, what if you have multiple positive ions? If you have positive ions, for example, we have NaHCO3. Now, we have sodium ek positive ion, hai, hydrogen ek positive ion, and carbonate ek positive ion. So, uh, sorry, carbonate is a negative one. So we'll simply say this is sodium for the first one, hydrogen for the second one, carbonate for the third one. Uh, in IGCSE exams, what they do is that they combine HCO3 as one ion. And that's fine. I mean, they just call this whole thing hydrogen carbonate. And that's perfectly fine. No problem. Remember, these numbers are part of the cation or anion. So that's why they don't come in the name. But there are names that have numbers in them. For example, again, I have this. This is a uh, transition metal compound. Transition metals are known for having variable valency. We have seen in the previous chapter mein bhi dekha tha, that they have variable valency. Their oxygen state, their charge can change. So it is important that we know which oxygen state or which charge are we talking about. So over here, हम उसको ऐसे पता चलेगा हमें सल्फेट का चार्ज याद होना चाहिए सो so, हमें सल्फेट का पता है कि वो नेगेटिव 2 है सो टू कैंसिल इट आउट आयरन शुड बी पॉजिटिव 2 एंड दैट गिव्स अस द नेम आयरन 2 दिस इज द नेम ऑफ द कैटायन सल्फेट दिस इज द नेम ऑफ द एनआई बट अगेन वी आर फॉलोइंग द नेम ऑफ कैटायन फर्स्ट एनआई लेटर एंड दैट्स हाउ वी नेम इट सो ऑल ऑफ देम all the ionic compounds are named this way. Doesn't matter whether they have one cation, two anions, two cations, one anion, whatever. You will name the cations, you'll name the anions, and you're good to go. Now, what do we do if we have covalent compounds? That is even more easier. For covalent compounds, you simply count the atom and then you name it. For example, if I have SO2, so there is sulfur, so sulfur is one. So that's fine. We don't need to mention anything for that. There's two oxygen, so dioxide. So the oxygen is two, so I'll say die with oxide. And usually at the end of the name, we put IDE. Uh, there are many cases where we put other like ITE or ATE, but wo usually ionic compounds. Similarly, let's suppose my uh, compound. Aa jata hai. For example, uh, yeah, SeCl4. So this will be selenium tetra chloride. And because I've used the word tetra, you will know right away that this is covalent bonding. Hai. There are cases where you might have doubts. Case mein ionic bonding or covalent bonding. Hai. Look at the name in that case. If the name has di, mono, tetra, hexa, something like that, it is definitely covalent. But if name is something like this, or if the name is something like this, then it's definitely ionic. I'll give you an example of that. If you look at this compound, then it is hard to say what kind of bonding it will have. Our gut reaction would be, oh, it has metal, aluminum. So it should be uh, ionic. But it is one of the few compounds which have metals in them, but they have covalent bonding. So its name is aluminum trichloride now if you read the name you will know right away Kyun? Kyun ke naam mein tri they have counted 
एंड देन नेम डेट सो दैट इज अ बिग हिंट के इसमें कोवेलेंट बॉन्डिंग है और इसका मॉलिक्यूल होगा ठीक है सो दैट इज हाउ वी हैव दम द थर्ड केस इज इफ यू हैव जॉइंट कोवेलेंट स्ट्रक्चर जॉइंट कोवेलेंट में भी कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता है ठीक है जॉइंट कोवेलेंट में सेम थिंग है फॉर एग्जाम्पल एस आईओ टू है तो उसका नाम होगा सिलिकॉन डाई ऑक्साइड सो इट डज नॉट मेक अ डिफरेंस वेदर इट इज सिंपल कोवेलेंट और जॉइंट कोवेलेंट उसके नाम में मोनो डाई ट्राई टाइट्रा सभी होगा वेन डू वी यूज मोनो वी यूज मोनो इन केस देर इज अ डाउट I'll give an example. Let's suppose carbon reacts with oxygen. Carbon can make CO and CO2. It can make one of the two. It can make both. So even though both of them have carbon and oxygen, it is important to tell which carbon oxygen compound we are talking about. Are you talking about carbon with one oxygen, or are you talking about carbon with two oxygens? So that's why we say carbon monoxide is this one, and carbon dioxide. is this one only in such cases where you have doubts you put mono otherwise you can just leave it as di or whatever the thing you can avoid writing the name mono so that is all about naming them or naming and formulas ke upar hum pehle bhi baat kar chuke hain are you all clear yeah okay that's good to know